In this lesson, you will learn how to use a variety of helpful layer tools on the Layers panel. These tools will save you lots of time the more you work with layers. To begin with, click this icon, which is Make Objects Layer Current. Then click on this Power Outlet. Immediately we have the current layer set to E Power. If you wanted to do this type of thing manually, it would take longer. Go Undo. If you wanted to set that layer, first you'd probably have to learn what layer it's on by selecting the object, seeing that it's on the E Power layer, pressing Escape, and then going up here and selecting the E Power layer from the list. Let's try this again. Make Objects Layer Current. Click on this green object. And now we're on the D Communication layer. This tool is called Match and it allows you to change the layer assignment of the selected objects. And the great advantage of this command is that you don't have to know the name of the layer in order to change something onto it. Let's try it. Click the tool, and the command prompt simply says Select Objects. I'll select this object, which appears to be on the wrong layer. It's a light, and it should probably be yellow like the other lights in the drawing. I'll press Enter. And then it says Select Object on Destination Layer. I'll click on this light. The command is done, and the layer assignment of this object has been changed. Up here, this is called Previous. What it does is it goes back to the previous current layer. So now I'm on the E Power layer. I'll click it again. Now I'm on the A Header layer. These next two commands work together, Isolate and Unisolate. Click Isolate, and then click on a few objects. I'll click on these three objects and press Enter. What happened was all the other objects in the drawing, which are on different layers, are now locked. And you can see that here if I hover the cursor over these objects, there's a lock icon that appears. Let's look at the Layer Properties Manager. You can see if you scroll down, most of the layers are locked. Only the selected objects layers remain unlocked. That allows you to work on these systems without disturbing objects on other layers. When you're done, you can unisolate, and everything gets unlocked the way it was before. A similar command is down here in the corner of the screen. It's this light bulb icon. Click on it and choose Isolate Objects. This works for objects rather than layers. Select some objects and press Enter. All the other objects disappear. This allows you to work on these objects without distraction. And you can also go down here, click this again, and say Isolate Additional Objects. And then I'll select these objects here and press Enter. This allows you to refine that selection to work on just the objects that you've chosen. Note that this doesn't change the layers at all. Go down here and then say End Object Isolation when you're done working on something. There's also Freeze and Off tools. If you click Freeze, you can then freeze the layer of the object that you click on. So if I click here, I'll freeze that lighting layer. I'll press Enter to end the command. Up here, Off works the same way. I'll click here, and that layer is off. To get them back on, you have to go back to the Layer Properties Manager, find them in the list, and thaw them or turn them back on. In summary, you have learned how to use some time-saving layer tools, including Make an Objects Layer Current, Match Layer, Previous Layer, Isolate and Unisolate Layers and Objects, and finally Layer Freeze and Layer Off.